你而家收睇嘅系加拿大财经一号电视台。Hello, Amanda. Thank you for coming today. Thank you very much, Jackie.、Uh, when I thinking about this、um, interview,、mm -hmm. the first question pop in my mind is,、mm -hmm. how do you describe a daily work looks like for a city councilor? It's well, very one word: busy. <laughs> busy. <laughs> That's right. So most of the time that we、uh, we spend in meetings, so、um, you know, there's a lots of meetings that we have to、uh, take care of the、uh, the business within City of Markham,、mm -hmm. for our、uh, constituents, right? So、um, if they have any concerns or anything that I need to address、uh, on their behalf, and obviously I would. I would do so、um, uh, to my city councilors.、Uh, responsibilities is to support the community. I mean, as you probably see that, like I go to、uh, community events a lot, right. right? So this is really, you know, to to support the community, whether it is、uh, within city of Markham or outside of city of Markham.、Um, I will be there to、uh, to support. Um, you are definitely the most familiar face for a <laughs> lot of events. <laughs>、yeah. I'm like all over the places, right? Yeah. yeah. I know before you have been elected、mm -hmm. as a city councilor, you worked um, at um, IBM for ten、mm -hmm. years, and then you start your own business、That's、as、right. an entrepreneur for another few years. So,、yeah. how is the life different as a businesswoman to a politician? Well,、um, it's very different. I mean, you know, like as an entrepreneur or you know, work at IBM. Uh, essentially, that like you know, I would be in the private sector. So、mm -hmm. in the within the private sector, you know, you have your targets to hit. You have、um, obviously, you know, you have to drive revenue. You have to drive profits for for the company.、Um, in public sector,、um, it is very different. I mean, there's no such a thing as profit. Profit. I mean, even though like right now, I'm the vice chair of <laughs> budgets within City of Markham. Uh, of course, you know my goal is to make sure that you know we have surplus and we're being you know fiscally responsible. But there's nothing is like profits, right?、Mm -hmm. And、um, obviously, you know whatever that you do,、um, you would need to report out to the general public of、uh, you know how well did you do certain things and whatever decision that you make.、Um, you know sometimes、uh, you know when、uh, residents ask you why do you make certain decisions, you have to answer to the public.、Um, you know in the private sector, you don't have to answer. It's like、right? you're responsible for a lot of people's profits. Well, it's、right? true, exactly. Yeah. So,、um, you know, that is the, to the uh, uh, general public's、uh, benefits that、mm -hmm. you know we're being fiscally responsible and we're making sound decisions.、Mm -hmm. uh, we're also, you know, whatever that we do, it has to make sense as well. I know、um, all of the、uh, special events and galas tend to take place at night or yeah, over the weekend.、Yeah. So, how's your family take on? You being so active on politics, do they support you all the time? Well, yes, my family is extremely supportive,、uh, especially with my husband as well.、Mm -hmm. um, you know, my two kids、uh, now they are getting older. One is fifteen, the other one is twelve. I think that they started to get a sense of what politics is about,、mm -hmm. and I think that、uh, by being really, really involved and engaged in the community,、um, it is also a great way for me to set an example、uh, to them、mm -hmm. that you know what sometimes you know like when you support the、uh, The community, you know, you do need to to have certain sacrifice, right?、That's、so, right.、Um, you know, sacrifice、uh, some of your personal time and stuff like that. But then at the same time, you know, I wanted to make sure that、I、also carve out time for them as well.、Mm -hmm. uh, Christmas is coming up, and you know, usually, you know, we will take time off、uh, during Christmas.、Uh, Time and also, you know, like Thanksgiving or you know any of the special occasions that I will make sure that I、uh, I set aside time、uh, for family as well. As a woman, especially, it's very、mm -hmm. hard to balance your work time and your family time, right? As you mentioned,、yeah. you you save time for Christmas and holidays.、Yeah. What about like on a regular like week or? How do you balance it? Yeah,、um, it is not easy. Absolutely,、um, you know. As I mentioned before, that like you know, we have a lot of meetings that, that、right. we have, and especially you know, council、uh, council meeting is really in the evenings.、Mm -hmm. So、um, you know, so every other week my evening is gone already, <laughs> right? And then you know, there are other public meetings that is also held in evenings as well.、Mm -hmm. um, you know, I basically I, I just kind of you know. Help our kids to understand that you know this is really part of、uh, the job. You know, as a professional, you know you have to to those do do those things, right? So even though you know as much as I wanted to spend time with my kids, but you know. 
obviously, you know, the responsibilities have to come first. But I mean, again, at the same time, you know, I wanted to make sure that, you know, whenever I have time or, you know, whenever that I'm not like in meetings or not meeting with my constituents, then I will be like at home and just talk to them and, um, you know, spend time and just, you know, make it more quality. And, yeah. and then cuddle and <laughs> hug them and kiss them. <laughs> <laughs> what motivates you to join the politics? Anyone has a big influence on your decision? Well, I would say that um, you know, when I was a teenager, I loved economics. Uh, I love you know to study the impact of uh, certain decisions and how it would have like a, a chain reaction. It's almost like a domino effect, and yeah. then affects people's daily lives. And that just absolutely fascinates me. Um, so I, I just love that aspect. So I think that I always have that type of a thoughts in my mind that mm -hmm. like especially I love uh, macroeconomics mm -hmm. and um, there's something that is always back like you know at the back of my mind that like I wanted to do mm -hmm. um, obviously you know when I was younger that you know I didn't really think that I I could actually make that jump and I didn't really think of um, you know it, to to get into politics as you know a, a career mm -hmm. but then I think that like you know as I started to grow older mm -hmm. I mean I'm still young <laughs> no, I'm still young but like as I start grow uh, older and I get a little bit more experience you know like in the private sector and learn more and um, you know I started to get more involved in the community mm -hmm. and I thought that you know what I mean why not right because you know at that time um, the local councillor decided to run in another ward so I thought mm -hmm. you know what why not just you know put my name in the hat and uh, see what happened and I would say that um, you know our mayor uh, Frank Scarpitti has been always an inspiration uh, for me as well um, you I've seen him everywhere, everywhere right? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, since I was in uh, in private sector, whether it's at the IBM or at um, you know uh, running my own uh, business, uh, I still remember that the first time I actually really really met him is um, at church. It's interesting that um, you know I. Um, it was like you know, a group of uh, church people that you know uh, invited uh, Frank, uh, our mayor, mm -hmm. uh, come in and just speak to us. And it was the first time I actually had a close up with him, mm -hmm. and I thought, wow, he is incredible. I mean, for the the things that he done for or he's doing for city of Markham and the residents is extremely admirable. Mm -hmm. So I think that you know he's uh, you know one of my uh, inspirational uh, figure and then the other person is Michael Chan. Mm -hmm. um, you know I remember that you know I just you know go to events you know as a private citizen and yeah. I and I look up to him and I thought like wow like he is amazing. I mean, like, how does he do all these, right? Um, you know, at that time, obviously, you know, I don't really know what, you know, being a politician is about. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just kind of looking from the outside. But I think that, um, you know, every one of us who get elected, we have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. We have a role to play. And our role is to set an example to other people right. who may be thinking about getting into politics mm -hmm. or you know to to serve the public um, that is the key role that that we play I believe how do you start your career like pol political career well um, it's a, as a city councillor <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean like like I mentioned before that you know I have been very active in the community mm -hmm. um, you know I was uh, co-chair for my kids uh, school mm -hmm. uh, for the, PDA the, meeting, the right yeah for, for, for the parents council, parents council right? Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, so I was co-chair there, and I've been very active uh, advocating uh, for the parents, right? Mm -hmm. So already at that time, I helped them to solve a uh, traffic issue around uh, the school area, mm -hmm. and um, you know I, I just wanted to be there to to help uh, the community to be a better community, to to add on whatever skill and knowledge that I can to mm -hmm. help with the community where I I live, where my kids grow up, and um, you know to make a better place for mm -hmm. our next generation. So I think it's more like a natural evolution. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not something that I would say, snap Some my idea. finger and then just say, hey, you know what? I'm totally changing my direction. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's been a process, Yeah, right? it is. Taking yeah, so some responsibility at uh, different uh, meetings exactly. and organizations. I exactly, yeah. So um, I also did fundraising from Arkham Stover Hospital, mm -hmm. uh, participated and uh, supported local uh, events, jazz festival, or whatsoever. So it is 
really something that like I'm already doing, and then I think that well, you know what, may, I may as well just make it full time, and it's something that I really enjoy doing. This is my passion, and I think this is also my calling as well. So mm -hmm. I thought, you know what, I may as well just do it full time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I recall the time when you just moved into Markham. The city was nothing like what we see no. today, right? Mm -hmm. So what makes you want to stay here for so long, and then you serve as a counselor today? Yeah, so yeah. what you see in Markham that we some of us may be missing. Yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, I may be biased because I love Markham. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that, like, you know, I, the, the first time I see Markham, I fell in love. Uh, Markham is very peaceful and it's very uh, family oriented. Mm -hmm. This is what I like, really like about, uh, about Markham, right? Uh, Markham is also very vibrant as well, uh, very colorful. Um, there's a lot of energy, and uh, but at the same time, give you a, a sense of peace, mm -hmm. right? Um, that you know that you can um, you can live in Markham, uh, raise your family. It's a great place to live, work, Such and a play. Such multicultural. Exactly, right? it's very multicultural. Mm -hmm. Uh, city as well is very diverse and uh, basically it's very welcoming as well so I think that um, you know the, the past uh, generations of council members <laughs> have done a fantastic job mm -hmm. uh, to kind of grow Markham and you know the, the visions that they had for city of Markham is amazing mm -hmm. um, so I mean obviously you know uh, why would I want to run in another city <laughs> when I personally live here mm -hmm. I love the city where I, I live, and obviously, you know, for whatever that I, I do, obviously, I wanted to give back to Markham as well. Yeah, that's what, I think that's why your people want to elect you as a city councillor. Right, you know, exactly. you're so passionate about this job. Exactly. As time goes by, a lot of Chinese residents move into Markham, and a lot of Chinese business set up their office at mm -hmm. Markham, right? So you as a city councilor with a Chinese background must be so proud and so yes. motivated to help them to settle down and mm -hmm. get involved with the local communities. Mm -hmm. So what are you so passionate to do or what would you um, encourage um, everybody else to do to help yeah. these new immigrants to not only excel their career but also cherish their lives here? Yeah, well, you know what? Um, at one point, I was an immigrant myself, right? <laughs> so um, so I totally understand you know, uh, how all the, uh, the, the other new immigrants are, are going through. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that, um, you know, again, you know, I, I think that I'm very fortunate that I can actually set a great example for other uh, new immigrants that, you know what, with hard work and determination, you will mm -hmm. find success in you know, whatever that, that you do. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, like how I uh, become so successful um, to do what I'm doing right now, mm -hmm. I think that, you know, one of the biggest thing is like I integrate with this community really extremely well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I learned uh, when I first came here, I, I tried to learn the Canadian way, right? Understand, you know, the certain culture. And then of course, you know, I also retain my own culture as well, mm -hmm. right? It's, um, you know, most of the time when we say about integration, it doesn't mean that like you have to give up your own culture. Sure, that's right? Right. So I still, uh, that's the beauty of Canada, it right? It is, exactly. And then you can keep your own culture. And then Ex exactly. So that's what makes Canada and make city of Markham beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. So you integrate with um, the culture is here in, in Markham or in Canada. So, um, you know, I, I, I Obviously, you know, I would love to continue to help uh, other immigrants. Um, you know, what I did, um, I went to the, the Welcome Center, and I often have uh, speech and also uh, seminars that, you know, if they, like, when they, whenever they invite me, I would love to, to share my experience with them. And just really, it's about hope and hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Last question, uh, what, do you, what do you want to achieve for your um, political career in the future? Well, I wanted to continue to serve our people, continue mm -hmm. to serve our community. Mm -hmm. um, I recently got nominated as the, uh, the liberal candidate. Thank you, Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Uh, for Markham Union View at the provincial level. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll be uh, participating in the general election in June mm -hmm. in 2018. Um, again, it's you know, all about Markham. So I wanted to be able to, to serve um, the, uh, the Markham residents at a different level, uh, something that I will be able to create more impact uh, for the residents. So hopefully that, you know, in 20, uh, 2018 in, in, June, in June, that I will become uh, MPP of Markham Unionville. Yeah, I hope you can get the seat. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming today.